evening. Good evening. I'm Dr. Rita McGuire. I am the Chief Medical Officer for Wakana, as well as one of the co-founders for Wakana. And I want to welcome each and every one of you to our webinar this evening. And thank you for attending. Well, tonight we're going to talk about something that many of you on the line may or may not be aware of, and that's tinnitus. Tinnitus suffers hear noises when no sound is present. It's actually phantom sounds that are described as ringing or clicking or hissing or roaring. Tinnitus is not a disease, but a symptom that can be triggered by different health conditions. And we're gonna talk about some of those health conditions tonight. It also alters the neurological activity within the auditory cortex. That's the part of the brain that's responsible for hearing. So what happens when the transmission of sound is interrupted, some of the neural circuits fail to receive signals. So instead of causing hearing loss, those neural circuits begin chattering. And the brain attempts to interpret all of this chatter and that activity can resemble sounds like ringing, buzzing, hissing, whistling, or roaring. Tinnitus can differ by persons to person. Some cases may be permanent, while other cases may go away on its own. So it's really important to visit a specialist for proper treatment of tinnitus. Well, let's look at the anatomy of the ear. As you can see, there is the outer ear, then we have the middle ear and the inner ear. It's the inner ear that has been affected in those persons that suffer from tinnitus. It's the area of the semicircular canals, the cochlea. There is dysfunction and damage to these nerves here, the vestibular nerve, the cochlear nerve, as well as the eustachian tube. And what's happening is that these little hairs that are found in the inner ear have been bent or disruptive from certain conditions that we'll talk about this evening. So again, tinnitus is really affecting this part of the ear, which is the inner ear. It um, causes about 15% of people with tinnitus have some trouble hearing. Uh, men are more affected. Uh, than women and report more hearing loss. And 10% of the U.S. adult population actually experienced tinnitus in the past year. So again, let's talk about some of the symptoms. With tinnitus, you have the sensation of hearing sound even though there's no external sound present. These are phantom type of noises that you may experience. You may experience ringing or buzzing or roaring or clicking or hissing or humming. Humming. So let's just take a moment and think about that. Let's talk about what sort of quality of life would you have if you had tinnitus, this constant ringing or roaring or buzzing or clicking in your ear. So there are several risk factors that may cause or even increase your chances of developing these symptoms. Some may include prolonged exposure to loud noise. Many of you on the line may know people that either work at a factory or work as construction workers or musicians or even ex-military soldiers that have been exposed to loud noise. The other risk factor is age. The number of functioning nerve fibers in your ears actually start to decline as you age. This can also cause hearing problems that are associated with tinnitus. Gender, again, we said men are more likely to experience tinnitus than women. Smokers, smokers absolutely have a higher percentage rate of developing developing tinnitus compared to non-smokers. Well, why is that? Well, we know that smoking can affect the lungs, right? We always talk about lung cancer. But smoking, because it causes constriction in the vessels, because it causes less 
oxygenation, it also causes the nerve and the hair cells in the inner ear to be affected. Cardiovascular health issues like high blood pressure, atherosclerosis, heart disease also increase your risk of tinnitus. Why? Again, because of the constriction of the vessels, constriction of the nerve fibers are affecting the inner ear. So there are two kinds of tinnitus. There's something called subjective tinnitus. This is the most common form of tinnitus can be caused by ear problems. It can also be caused by problems with the auditory nerves and the auditory pathways that we talked about earlier in that slide. The other form or kind of tinnitus is called objective tinnitus. This is a very rare form of tinnitus that your doctor can hear during an examination. It typically results from blood vessel problems like high blood pressure or even middle ear bone conditions or muscle contractions within the inner ear. So a common cause of tinnitus we talked about is inner ear hair cell damage. So the hairs, if they are damaged inside of your ear, if they're broken, if they're bent, they can actually leak electrical impulses to your brain causing tinnitus. The more common causes of tinnitus, again, we talked about, which include age-related hearing loss, exposure to loud noise, even earwax blockers, really important to keep that wax to a minimum, and ear bone changes. Again, stiffening of those bones within the middle ear can affect hearing loss and can cause tinnitus. Some more or less common causes of tinnitus include Meniere's disease. Meniere's disease is an inner ear disorder that's caused by abnormal inner ear fluid pressure. TMJ, many of you on the line may know people that have temporal mandibular joint issues, which causes a lot of problems in the lower jawbone, which meet the skull, which could also cause tinnitus. Head injuries or even neck injuries. These injuries can cause tinnitus, but usually it's only in one ear. Something called acoustic neuroma. That's a benign non-cancerous tumor that can develop on the cranial nerve, which controls balance and hearing. That's why many times those who have tinnitus also have something called vertigo, which is an internal spinning. Muscle spasms of the inner ear. Again, when the muscles tighten up or spasm within the inner ear, this can also cause tinnitus or hearing loss. And then again, blood vessel disorders. In rare cases, tinnitus can result from a blood vessel disorder. This is called typically pulsatile tinnitus. Let's talk about medications that can cause tinnitus. Well, there are a number of medications that can cause or even worsen tinnitus. So antibiotics, antibiotics are a real big one erythromycin, vancomycin, neomycin, some of those antibiotics can cause tinnitus. Even cancer medications like methotrexate or cisplatinum that we commonly use in oncology. Water pills like diuretics, many of you may have been on furosemide or Lasix. Quinine medications that are commonly used to treat malaria or other health conditions can cause tinnitus. Certain antidepressants, Zoloft, Prozac, these have the potential to worsen tinnitus. And even aspirin, something benign as aspirin when taken in high doses, such as 12 plus pills a day can cause tinnitus. So it's important that if you see or have any of the symptoms that we mentioned earlier, please see your physician. Some complications of tinnitus that can affect the quality of life. And I'm telling you, if you're on the line and you know someone that has tinnitus, absolutely, this affects the quality of your life. Just imagine living every single day 
with buzzing and sounds in your ear that can cause, again, fatigue. It can be very stressful. It can absolutely cause problems sleeping, trouble concentrating because you're having all of this external noise in your ear, memory problems, depression, anxiety, and irritability. So this is a really, really important symptom and disease entity that we should all be aware about the immune function imbalance, our energy, our thermogenesis, our memory, our neural development, and even learning in balance. The endocannabinoid system plays a very, very important role in the synaptic plasticity of movement. That means those who have multiple sclerosis, those who have seizure disorders, as well as it helps to regulate mood, stress, and our sleep-wake cycles. Again, we talked about those who have tinnitus, their quality of life is diminished because they have this constant ringing, clicking, humming in their ear. That affects the quality of life. It affects their sleep, it affects their mood, it causes many of them to be fatigued, many of them to be stressed and depressed. So these receptors that are found throughout our entire body, our entire body has receptors that are looking for cannabinoids. They're looking for CBD, cannabidiol, and they're looking for THC. Now our body naturally produces cannabinoids. But when our body becomes deficient, this is when we need CBD. That's why we talk about everyone needs CBD. Everyone has an endocannabinoid system and everyone has a deficient endocannabinoids being produced because of environmental stress, because of the foods we're eating, because of the water we're drinking, because of the sleep deprivation we have. We all need CBD and THC and the other cannabinoids that we talked about like CBN and CBG and CBC to keep our body in balance. In fact, not only are there uh, receptors in different organs and glands in the central nervous system, in the immune system, in the periphery, but they're found in the lung, in the liver, in the kidney, in the skin, in the reproductive tract in the ear, on the bones, in the immune system, in the spleen, every single organ and gland throughout our entire body is looking for cannabis. In fact, cannabis does more than just manage tinnitus symptoms, but there's some new evidence that support that medical marijuana can even treat tinnitus itself. Now the research indicates that medical mar marijuana is effective in the treatment of many, nerves, many nervous system disorders. Therefore, we see that tinnitus is also one of those disorders that can get relief from CBD. Now, CBD, cannabidiol, has been found to be much more effective in those patients with tinnitus versus THC. Sometimes, high levels of THC has been found in research to worsen tinnitus. So that's why it's very important to have a product that's low in THC and high in CBD to provide the relief without the potential psychosis or side effects that THC in high levels can give. So these findings imply that absolutely CBD, because CBD's anti-inflammatory properties, it's antioxidative properties, it's vasorelaxant properties, absolutely can be relief for those who suffer from tinnitus, as well as CBD helping those patients with tinnitus to sleep. We know that CBD works on the serotonin and the uh, dopamine pathways, not only to improve mood, but to help get that rapid eye movement sleep, that restorative sleep that those who suffer from tinnitus don't always get. 
So again, CBD for tinnitus, the studies have shown to be very, very um, uh, helpful in those who have those symptoms. So let's move on to our product line here at Wakana. A little bit about the company. On April 20th of 2019, Wakana was actually brought into existence through the synergistic efforts and shared foundational values of four African-American women who truly believe that health, wealth, legacy, our freed and freedom are gifts that belong to all people. Our four co-founders are here. Melissa Boston is our CEO of Wakana. She is our visionary who truly has been very success successful in the last 29 years in home-based businesses, but was very successful in corporate America. In fact, she was named MVP of five out of the six corporate America companies that she worked for. She also brings 29 years in the home-based business arena. She has coached over 50,000 distributors and has companies in 40 countries. So truly is a visionary here at Wakana. Our president, Dr. Patricia Van Pelt, is a state senator here in Illinois. She is serving her third term. She is a businesswoman and evangelist and truly has been very instrumental in bringing the wealth creation and pathway to ownership at Wakana. And our senior VP of sales, our fabulous Phyllis Nash, who we coined as our midwife, who has brings over 22 years in sales and service in the liquor industry and in the restaurant industry, and truly bursts all of the possibilities in our distributors here at Wakana. And then myself, Dr. Rita McGuire, I have been an obstetrician gynecologist now for 30 years, as well as I've been in the cannabis industry as often four of us have for the last three years, but I am also a certifying physician for the medical marijuana program here in Illinois, as well as I was the number one first physician to certify a patient in our opioid exchange program here in Illinois as well. So our co-founders bring a wealth of knowledge and expertise as it relates to business and the cannabis industry. So our products here at Wakana are very unique and products that you can trust. We provide some of the most rich medicinal hemp that is fully compliant with the State Department of Agriculture regulations. And what that means is that hemp, when it is grown, it's important to understand that it is a bioaccumulator. And what that means is when you plant hemp, it will accumulate whatever is in the soil. Our products are grown organically. We source our hemp from organic farms in Oregon, Colorado, as well as Tennessee now. We also have a farm that has been growing hemp organically in Northern Europe. Our products are industrial hemp registered as well as they are farm bill compliant. In 2018, the U.S. Farm Bill was passed that now allows hemp on a federal level to be sold, cultivated, and consumed in all 50 states on a federal level. So hemp, after 80 years of being illegal, after 80 years of hemp being a Schedule I controlled substance, is now a legal substance to be used consumed and sold in all 50 states under the Farm Bill Act. So our product line is a very professionally packaged line. We have two what we call crown jewels of CBD. We have our power line, which you see on the left. That is the packaging that is in the black. That is a product that is a full spectrum product a product that contains all of those amazing cannabinoids that we talked about, which are CBD, CBN, CBG, as well as Delta 9, THC, the legal limit of THC, which is 0.3%, 
A full spectrum product also contains those terpenes. Terpenes are what gives the flower its aroma, that musty, woody, skunky aroma. Terpenes have medicinal benefits on the body as well, improving and decreasing inflammation, pain, anxiety, improving blood sugar levels, improving blood pressures. Terpenes also are very, very important as analgesics or pain relief. Now our Pure line is a broad spectrum line. That is a line that contains all of those amazing cannabinoids and terpenes, but this product line contains less than 0.0% of THC. So this is a line for those who have random drug screens at their place of work, and they want to use our pure broad spectrum line. So we're going to go over some of the products that one can use, not only for tinnitus, but a lot of the symptoms and disease entities that we spoke about that CBD is so uh, important in helping to relieve those symptoms. Now, it's important to understand that the FDA does not approve any of these statements. If you are nursing, pregnant, if you're on medication, if you're under a doctor's care, please consult with your physician before starting CBD. Now, Power Hemp MD is one of our more powerful or more potent uh, and concentrated products at Wakana, it contains 750 milligrams of CBD. This product is a tincture. Tincture means that it is an oil that you place underneath the tongue. You hold that oil for about 60 seconds so it can be absorbed into the bloodstream. Again, starting low and starting slow is the way I always start my patients on CBD. More is not better. In fact, the Mayo Clinic did a study and they looked at people who have chronic pain and they saw that people with chronic pain didn't need any more than two and a half to upwards of 20 to 25 milligrams of CBD. So always start low and start slow. The recommended dosing for this product is three drops twice a day. That's your daily support giving you 15 milligrams of CBD. Eight drops twice a day is our health support. That's giving you 40 milligrams of CBD on a daily dose. And then our maximum support with this product is 15 drops twice a day, which gives you 75 milligrams of CBD. So absolutely a person that has tinnitus, a person that has symptoms of ringing, vertigo, spinning, even those that you may be on the line that may have issues with autoimmune diseases like lupus, fibromyalgia, scleroderma, sarcoidosis. You may be on the line and have depression or anxiety. You know, when you think about CBD, it sounds like a snake oil, right? You're like, how does it help with everything? Even something like tinnitus that I didn't even know about. You may be on the line and never heard of tinnitus. I'm telling you, it is a pretty common symptom that people have that you may know and love. So CBD, yes, can be used. We also have topical products and topical products are really great for those who may have TMJ. Temporal mandibular joint disease can also cause tinnitus and ringing in the ear. Very, very painful condition. Our topical offers local relief. This is a power product which contains less than 0.3% or less of THC, but we have a proprietary formulation that includes nine additional USDA certified organic essential oils that help relieve inflammation and pain. Again, very little is needed to help relieve any local pain and swelling. We have another topical pain relief that's not as potent as the first one, though it's 500 milligrams, again, versus the 200 milligrams the 500 milligrams is in a larger container, doesn't contain as many of those 
organic essential oils as the severe relief, but absolutely is a great product for those who have mild to moderate relief that they need locally. Now we're gonna stop sharing um, the slide here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you some other products that we have here um, that I want you to take a look at. And these products are products that we just launched on Black Friday. So let me open up here my gallery so you can see me here. Um, yes, got a new haircut, so I am Dr. Rita. I'm the same person that you saw earlier in that slide. But some of our new products that I'm really excited about, that yes, you on the line that have tinnitus or any of the other symptoms that we talked about that CBD can help to relieve inflammation, pain, anxiety, depression, the autoimmune disease entities we talked about, uh, migraines, headaches, anything that you're using, an analgesic like Tylenol or Motrin or Aleve, absolutely you can use CBD. So our new can of butters are amazing. They're infused with CBD. They're infused with 200 milligrams of CBD. These butters are used just like you would use any other butter in your oatmeal, on your toast, in your coffee, those who following a keto diet, they're putting the can of butter in their coffee, in their tea, in their smoothies. We have a vegan formulation as well as a grass fed formulation. It's again, a great way to get CBD into your system. You only need a teaspoon per serving that will give you about 10 milligrams of CBD on that daily dose. We also have something called our CBD culinary oil. This is an oil that you can use just like olive oil that you use when you're marinating, when you're cooking. Please do not fry chicken with this culinary oil. This is not the oil that you would fry chicken with. When you cook, when you bake with CBD, it's important that you don't cook or bake any higher than 350 degrees uh, in your uh, cooking, baking, and culinary experience, okay? So again, this is a great product to get into your system. This entire bottle has 1,500 milligrams of CBD. And again, one serving size will give you between eight to 10 milligrams of CBD as you're making, cooking, and preparing for the holiday. We also have something new, which is a great way to get CBD in your system pretty quickly. And it is our pre-roll CBD pre-rolled joint. This is a pre-roll that will not get you high. Remember, we're not talking about marijuana. We're talking about CBD that it's, is extracted from the hemp plant, extracted from the plant with the CBD that does not have any psychoactive components. Again, this is fresh flour, fresh hemp from our farm in Tennessee, organic, double certified, third party validated that will give you a pretty immediate response within one to five minutes. This entire pre-roll is 163 milligrams of CBD. So please do not smoke the entire pre-roll in one setting. You only need one, maybe three pulls on the pre-roll. This pre-roll should last you a very long time. We also have, again, our tinctures that come in our full spectrum which is our power line. And we also have our pure line. Again, whenever you see the white label, this is a line for those who have random drug screens at their job that has less than 0.0% of THC. Again, all of our products come in our full spectrum as well as our broad spectrum. And then our gummies. 
our gummies hardly ever stay on the shelf long enough. We have our Power Extreme gummies and we have our Pure gummies that are on back order, but they should be in very soon. But gummies are a different way of getting CBD into your system. Gummies, again, take a little longer to reach the bloodstream because they have to go through your stomach. They have to be metabolized in the liver. But again, I take a gummy every single night. Gummies help, again, with inflammation. They help with pain. They help with insomnia. All of those symptoms are symptoms that those who suffer from tinnitus absolutely suffer from and can get relief with CBD. So I am going to now share one of my last screens before we open up a discussion for tonight. There are a couple of different ways that you can get started with our products tonight. One way is with our personal use dispensary. Our personal use dispensary are products for personal use. We have a combination of some of our tinctures, our culinary that you can bake with, our water solubles that you can infuse your beverages, you can infuse your food with. I love water solubles because if you're a person like me on the go, you can put it right in your coffee, right in your water and keep it moving. We also include in that package our topical uh, pain relief product as well as our gummies and our vape cartridges. Now, I didn't talk about our vape cartridges tonight, but vaping's onset of action, again, is within a minute. Vaping, pre-rolls are very quick to get into the system, and they're great for when you need that acute onset of action. The personal use dispensary is $299. It's a $500 value. It also comes with uh, our online CBD store for those who want to start the product and also start the business. Our online store allows you to get those commissions each time someone comes to your site and shops and purchases products from your online CBD site. They're also able to share in the health benefits as you are building that wealth legacy. You also, in this personal use dispensary, have the opportunity of having something called a 30-day master key. That means you can share with people that you love a free online CBD site. So whoever invited you on the call can really explain that a lot more for you. Now, our full crown jewel dispensary is our number one seller at Wakana. This dispensary allows you not only to start using the products personally, but it also allows you to start your business. You can start retailing these products in this full crown jewel dispensary at a 50% uh, profit margin. So this is a way, again, to get your products at wholesale. This gives you $1,500 worth of products, a $500 business tool. The business tool includes our Wakana University, which is our source of cannabis education. We give you two vouchers to that Wakana University. I'm telling you, in this university, I teach you everything about CBD that you ever want to know, about drug-drug interaction, about dosing, how to cook with CBD, how to infuse. You also get a broker master key. Again, you're able to give away as many CBD sites as you want for free up until January 1st. You earn more money by learning, again, how to infuse drinks, how to make edibles, and you get paid in our compensation plan as a sat buyer with six levels of override for actually six months. Now, this package is a $2,000 value, but your cost is $998. So again, this is the number one package if you're on the line and you heard all of the benefits of CBD, you wanna get started in a business, this is the way to get started. So I'm gonna stop sharing my slides 
We're gonna take some questions. We're also going to invite each and every one of you after we do these questions that you contact the person that invited you on the line to not only get your additional questions that you may have answered if we don't get all to all of your questions tonight, but to get started on the products, to get started on the products tonight. And absolutely, if you ever run into someone that has tinnitus, who has vertigo, that have these debilitating issues, you wanna make sure that you share this information with them. Okay, so someone that has tinnitus, they hear a heartbeat, absolutely yes. That is one of the symptoms where you can hear your heartbeat, you can hear ringing, you can hear humming, you can hear buzzing. It's a very, very debilitating thing that those who suffer from tinnitus may hear. Is this a live event? Yes, this is a live event. And do you have any questions? You're gonna put them in this chat box here uh, on the side. I think there is a Q&A. And will you be posting the recording on Facebook? Yes, I will be posting the recording on our Wakana Facebook page. Again, whoever invited you on the line, you want to make sure that you call them immediately so that you can get your products ordered, you can get your questions answered, and you can also be a part of Wakana Nation. We can get you on our Wakana Facebook page so that you can get all the information and questions answers that you may have. Are there any questions about tinnitus? Are there any questions at all about what we talked about? Using topical on the hands for joint pain, do you have to reapply after every hand wash and how long does it take to absorb? Great question. So our topical products can be used and applied on the hands Obviously, if you wash your hands, you are unfortunately washing off your product. There are many people that apply our topical and the topical takes pretty immediate relief. It can start to work within five to 10 to 15 minutes. It takes, uh, depends on how severe your issue is. If you have severe rheumatoid arthritis, it may take a little long to start to get an effect. That's why I recommend that when you have severe, moderate to severe issues, that you use our topical and you pair it with our tincture. It's nice to pair our products together when you have severe issues. So absolutely, if you have osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis that's severe, using a local topical for that local relief, using a tincture or a water soluble, as well as using a gummy at night. I love combining those three products when you have severe issues. And then of course, always using or having on hand a vape cartridge or a pre-roll for those acute issues within a minute to five minutes, you can get relief from our vape uh, cartridges or our pre-rolls. Can you put a few drops in your ear? No, I would not put any drops in your ear. Please do not put drops in your ear. The drops are used for internal use underneath the tongue. The water soluble drops can be used in your food and beverages and then the culinary uh, product can be used to bake or cook. Again, we have the culinary oil, we have the can of butter, but please do not put any drops in your ear. Please do not do that. Dr. Rita, does our hypnotic vape the right strength for vertigo, my hubby? Yes. So the question is, can you use our vape cartridges, our pre-rolls, for vertigo, for ringing in the ear, for nausea and vomiting, yes, yes, yes. Please let your husband experience all the benefits that CBD has for vertigo, for tinnitus, for nausea, 
in those patients that have those symptoms that can be due to tinnitus or migraines or vertigo. I love the lotion. It works wonders on my hands. I love our lotion too. We have a CBD body cream lotion that is amazing that can be used for those skin conditions that CBD has been shown in research to improve. Those skin conditions include psoriasis, eczema, acne, wrinkles, and just dry skin. So yes, I love, love, love the lotion. Again, I gave a testimony about a skin reaction that I had on my shoulder area and the lotion within four days started to lighten up the area and to resolve that issue. Do you get a website or online store when you join? Yes, you get an online store when you join. So please contact the person who invited you on the line so that you can get your online store uh, tonight. There are some questions in the Q&A issue, in the Q&A uh, area. Do you use CBD only when you experience the symptoms or should you use it consistently daily to relieve symptoms? Yes, you should absolutely use CBD as a preventative measure to prevent and to relieve any daily symptoms. There are people that use CBD to prevent issues down the line. So just like a multivitamin. When you use CBD as a preventative measure, I would use three drops a day and that's it. If you're using CBD to address any issues, I recommend starting low, starting slow, starting with three drops in the morning and three drops in the evening. Please do not put the CBD in your ear. No, no, no. CBD should be used as a tincture underneath your tongue. You can actually use CBD in the water soluble, in your water, your, your juice, your coffee, your tea, your smoothie, but do not put it in your ear. Do you have anything to help chronic fatigue? Yes, CBD has been shown to improve fatigue. Why? Well, CBD helps to uh, promote rapid eye movement sleep. CBD works on dopamine and serotonin pathways so that when you sleep well and you sleep in that restorative sleep, it helps to fight chronic fatigue. What about burns? CBD is an antibacterial, it's an antifungal, it's an antioxidative properties. So it will help to improve burns. You wanna make sure that whenever you use anything topically, that the area has been healed first. You don't wanna ever put CBD in an open wound. So for burns, absolutely use it underneath your tongue as a tincture, use it as a water soluble, use CBD internally so it can help to start the healing process from a burn. Can you use lotion on your face as a moisturizer? Absolutely, yes. I use the lotion on my face as a moisturizer. Before you use any topical, you wanna use a test first. You wanna use a small amount on the area on your face to ensure that you don't have an allergic reaction before using it on your entire face. But yes, you can use it on your face. Will smoking the pre-roll affect lungs like smoking a cigarette? Very good question. Our pre-rolls contain no nicotine. So smoking a pre-roll is not gonna affect your lungs like smoking a cigarette. Cigarette not only has nicotine in it, but cigarette has very, very harmful chemicals and pesticides and heavy metals in it that can cause lung injury. So our pre-rolls are made up with organic CBD flour that has been double certified, third party tested, hemp that is grown organically to be very safe and effective for those who are looking for relief. So thank you for those questions. 
in the Q&A uh, area. What is the product you mentioned that was good for lupus? Well, CBD is good for lupus. Why? Lupus is an autoimmune disease that can cause skin disorders. It can affect our internal organs. It can cause a lot of inflammatory processes, but more importantly, the body is thinking that it is a foreign. So it starts to attack different parts of our body like it's a foreigner that is invading. So using what I would highly recommend for those who suffer from lupus is using our tincture, either using the full spectrum with the 0.3% or less of THC or the broad spectrum tincture if you have a job that does random drug strengths. Using it internally underneath the tongue or a water soluble in your coffee, tea or water or using it in your baked goods, or using it as a gummy, or using it with our can of butter, any form that you feel that will help you to be more compliant is the form or product you should use. So for instance, if you have lupus and you've never smoked and you don't wanna smoke, I wouldn't recommend the pre-roll for you, okay? You're not a smoker and you don't feel comfortable smoker smoking. I would recommend the tincture. I would recommend the topical for, for local relief. And I would absolutely recommend any of our edibles, you know, our butter, our culinary oil that you can start infusing and using in your food to help relieve the symptoms of lupus. So it's important to understand that CBD addresses hundreds and hundreds of medical symptoms and conditions. Now it's up to you to find out which product you would feel more comfortable taking. I love, I love using a topical, excuse me, a topical for my knee pain. I had a very bad ski injury in 2009. So I have right knee swelling and pain, I work out a lot. So I like using the topical pain relief. I also love the water soluble. I love the water soluble because I can get CBD in quickly when I'm eating or drinking. And I absolutely love the gummy. The gummy at night helps me sleep and reduces inflammation. So all of the products are used for the same thing, for many things many conditions and symptoms. It just depends on you on which product you feel more comfortable taking and which product that you feel you'll be more compliant in remembering so that you can get the most benefits of CBD. Again, I'm super excited about our Black Friday rollouts. Again, our can of butter is a big hit. Our pre-rolls are a big hit, and our culinary cooking oil is another, another big hit. So again, whichever product you feel comfortable with will be the product that you go with. So that ends our presentation uh, tonight. If you have questions that I didn't answer, you absolutely can email me at D-R-R-I-T-A-M-A-C at yahoo.com. That is my email that you can forward any additional questions that you may have. But listen, we need you to contact the person that invited you on this line. The person that invited you on this line really loves you. They really care about you. And absolutely, if you suffer from tinnitus, if you suffer from this ringing, buzzing, humming, clicking in your ear, if you suffer from vertigo, if you suffer from many of these conditions that I talk about each and every Wednesday evening, you want to contact the person that invited you on this line so you can get your products tonight. Again, next Wednesday, we'll be 